just thought I would come and show you how I reinstalled the crochet twist using the Mambo Twist hair. So stay tuned to see how I achieved this. Hey there YouTube, Lola here and I just thought I would come and do the look at my braid pattern for the next crochet style. Re in reinstall it? Yeah. So this time it was a lot quicker to do because I did my very lazy move. I had the pre-prepared sections and all I had to do in terms of dividing or parting was I would part up to about there um, yeah. into a section, braid up to that point. And then just braid it right down. And that way I have this. And oh my gosh, it was so much easier. It was done in under an hour. So I start by cornering together and tucking away the ends of the braided sections. And then I select my crochet hook, which in this case I am using a three millimeter or US two size hook. You can also use a latch hook. So to crochet, you put the crochet hook or latch hook through the bottom of your cornrow, select your crochet twist, find the loop, which you will then drape over the end of the hook. Pull the crochet hook back through the way it came, turning it upside down to release, or if you have a latch hook, to re just release the latch hook. And then you will pull the loop up so that you can thread the end of the twist through it. Then you just pull it all the way down to secure and flatten it. Done! Here's a sped up clip of me doing a few more sections. I'm all done and here's the weird bit yeah I have like a whole pack's worth of hair left because of the fewer partings this is good because it means that um, definitely you can reuse the hair as long as you take care of it whilst it's in and then you Sorry. maybe go over and tidy it up as I've shown in the takedown video. I will try and see if I can shoot this again in the morning just to show what it looks like with better lighting. But yeah. Good morning. So I thought I'd come and show you in better lighting what the hair looks like once it's all done. And show you the back of it as well. So even kind of just to show a sneak peek of the back from this side. And hair, as I did last time, I've left the hair a bit further back from the edges again, just so that my edges are not under any kind of tension. Basically, yeah, like it was much faster to do. It took just under two hours to finish everything, including braiding. I, it. Um, I had a whole pack's worth of hair left over because I used less sections this time. Or at least the sections in the front also went back um, a bit less. Mm -hmm. but yeah. So because of that, I had less, like, significantly less hair to have to put in, but it still feels like I put in a lot of hair. I, I basically reached the front, and the front was well covered, and I still had two and a bit packs worth of hair left. So I put an extra pack and a quarter like, amount of hair in and then that was it. So yeah, this is really, really good and really, really quick. And yeah, all right guys, let me know what you think of this tutorial. I'll see you guys later.